Today our topic is microcirculation and this is the objective of the circulatory system. We know that the nutrient artery, you have seen it in the bone, the nutrient artery ka surakh. Similarly, nutrient arteries are the last arteries in division that are now going to form arterioles. So one will and one will be entering the bone, other you will see entering the muscle, then you will be seeing entering the arteries as well as the nerves to supply the nutrition to the structures of the body. So nutrient artery branches six to eight times to form arterioles, and here is this arteriole. It further branches to two to five times to become met arterioles, and these are the met arterioles. This met arteriole is a thoroughfare vessel because it is going directly into the venule and these are these met arterioles are then forming capillary networks and this is the pre-capillary arteriole forming capillary network this is pre-capillary arteriole and then these are the venules draining into the vein here again this met arteriole is dividing into Diff capillary network and then it is going into the venules to be drained by the vein. So arteriole has got a diameter of 20 microns, the met arteriole has a diameter of 9 microns and the capillary has a diameter of 5 to 7 microns and the preferential capillaries then join to form venules that drain into a vein. So a quick revision of the anatomy of arteriores, they have this thick muscular layer and because of that muscle contraction, diameter of arterioles can change. The net arterioles has fierce muscular layer and it has got gaps in it. This way muscle may notice smooth muscle fibers encircle them at the point of origin of the capillary and these smooth muscle fibers that are at the point of origin of the capillary are called free capillary sphincter. Venules are less muscular than arterioles, so they have less pressure control and they can con contract weakly. Types of the capillaries that are present are continuous capillaries, forestative capillaries, and sinusoidal capillaries. The continuous capillaries have tight junctions in them, as in brain and muscle. The fenestrated capillaries have got pores in the endothelial cells through and through, and these are present in the meruli of the kidney. Whereas sinusoidal capillaries have got large gaps between the endothelial cells, as in the liver or the apple of anatomy, may fall to the hand. Now, this is the diagram which I give to you in the sketchbook to draw and try to understand. This diagram, every one of you must draw in your sketchbook that you have to bring. For the viva in the exam, final exam, I keep viva and uh, on the sketchbook. So this is an endothelial cell of the capillary. This is another. This is another. And you see, these are the pores. Pores in the capillary. The blue arrows indicate that substances can come out of pores, and the Green arrows indicate that substances can also enter the capillaries through these pores. Now let us study in it in detail. This is a pore. This is a pore which is filled with water and it can transport anything that has got smaller than size, size smaller than the pore and is soluble in water. The lipid soluble substances can diffuse through the membrane either way. For example, carbon dioxide can go out of into the cell and oxygen can go out of the cell. So this is one mode of transport. Diagram may the anatomy hai wo aapki black dimosilikhi hui hai aur jo mechanisms of transport hai wo aapke blue lines mein likhe hai. Isko aapko sab kuch achhi tarah samajhna hai. So this is a water filled pore, this is again a water filled pore and this one and this one. Okay, then you see there is 
vesicles present in the cell and they are responsible for vesicular transport and then this is the lipid bilayer membrane through which substances can pass and that, that are lipid soluble. So number one, we would be talking about the lipid soluble substances. They pass through this endothelial cell simply by diffusing through the lipids of the cell inside and outside. Then comes the small substances that are water soluble. These are simply glucose and urea. They can come out of the capillary inside or outside and through these water soluble, through these pores which are containing water in it. Then there are plasma proteins, their size is so big, these were small so they were going out. The plasma protein, their size is so big and they are all the water soluble but they cannot go through these water soluble pores and then they retain inside. Now these exchangeable proteins, these are plasma proteins, they are not going in or out, but exchangeable proteins, there could be hormones, there could be other substances that are being sent into the tissue space through the capillary wall and you see that they form, they are formed, pinocytosis is occurring here, then the vesicle is inside and then after that the vesicle opens to the outer side of the capillary and in this way there is transport of substances that are exchangeable. So we have seen plasma proteins cannot go out, lipid, substance, lipid soluble substances can, can go in and out, water soluble substances like sodium, potassium, glucose and amino acids can go in and out and then exchangeable proteins go outside due to this pinocytosis and then vesicle formation. So what are the different modes of transfer that depends upon the different areas which have got different sizes of pores and the transport mechanisms available for transport of substances. So you see plasma lamel vesicle here in this picture and if you remember your first chapter in which you studied pinocytosis, you have seen that carrier mediated attachment of small molecules to the cell membrane produces pits in the membrane that are lined by caveolin and this produces a vesicle which is internalized after making a pit the endocytosis causes internalization of the vesicles and then they open up on the opposite side of the membrane and this causes transport from capillaries for substances which are larger and for the, for the pores, ye aap pore dekh rahe na, the intercellular cleft is ye pore hai, isse bada substance hai, to kaise jayega? So it goes through my pinocytosis and this is the vesicle, how it is formed, you are seeing it here. So plasma lamel vesicle, the vesicular channel is formed by pinocytosis at one end and it is carried to the other. Intercellular cleft, the skin and the muscles have got intercellular clefts. These are very narrow uh, distances, very narrow channels which allow small molecules to cross over. Blood brain barrier, even these narrow small molecules are bridged with cell junctions, tight junctions and these, those capillaries are called continuous types of the capillaries and protect the brain for certain from toxic substances present in the plasma. Do not allow much transport through the blood brain barrier from the plasma into the into the tissue fluid of the brain <clears throat> wide intercellular clefts these are present in the liver ab isi cleft ko aap wide kar dein bahut wide kar dein to liver mein aap itna it is a factory for the body liver jo hai aur usme bahut sari cheeze banti hain jo fir in clefts ke zariye capillaries mein enter hoti hain aur fir uske baad they are taken away into the body through the blood Midway between 3 and 4 means not so harsh as the tight junctions in the blood brain and not so wide as the sinusoidal capillaries in the liver and that makes it intestinal capillaries. And then pores in the endothelial cells, these are actually, yeah, yahan se, yahan se nikla ek pore, 
पूरा थ्रू एंड थ्रू द कैपिलरी वो पोर बनेगा और वो पोर जो है उसका साइज जीरो पॉइंट सिक्स नैनोमीटर होता है और वो जीरो पॉइंट सिक्स नैनोमीटर का जो पोर है उसमें से बहुत सारे सब्सटेंसेस इजीली गुजर जाते हैं एंड दिस इज फॉर एन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ ग्लोमेरुलर कैपिलरीज विच इज गॉट फेस्ट्रेशन पोर्स इन द कैपिलरीज दैट अलाउ पोर्स इन दिजल सेल्स दैट अलाउ ट्रांसपोर्ट ऑफ सब्सटेंसेज Now this slide is important from examination point of view. The vasomotion is a process of intermittent capillary blood flow. I repeat, vasomotion is a process of intermittent capillary blood flow. That means the blood flow through the capillaries turns off every few seconds or minutes, and then again it starts. it turns off every few seconds or minutes and then it again starts in the same tissue bed agar ek tissue bed ko char capillaries mili hui hain usme se ek waqt mein ek capillary mein blood jayega baki teen band honge thodi der ke baad wo capillary band ho jayegi number 2 capillary mein se blood usi tissue ko pahunchega thodi der ke baad dusri bhi band ho jayegi aur teesri capillary khul jayegi aur usme se blood jo hai wo usi tissue bed ko pahunchega इस तरीके से कैपिलरीज जो हैं जितनी भी आपके एक टिश्यू बेड में मौजूद हैं वो अल्टरनेटिंगली इंटरमीडियंटली खुलती हैं और बंद होती हैं ताकि ब्लड जो है वो उसी टिश्यू बेड को सप्लाई होता रहे विद एवरेज रेट ऑफ ब्लड फ्लो एवरेज रेट ऑफ एक्सचेंज एंड एवरेज कैपिलरी प्रेशर आपके पास ब्लड का जो प्रेशर कैपिलरी के अंदर मौजूद है वो थोड़ा सा प्रेशर सफिशेंट है थोड़ी सी न्यूट्रिशन देने के लिए किसी भी टिश्यू को स्किन है आपके पास मसल्स रेस्टिंग स्टेट में हैं बोन्स हैं इनको हर वक्त बहुत ज़्यादा ब्लड फ्लो नहीं चाहिए होता जब इनको हर वक्त बहुत ज़्यादा ब्लड फ्लो नहीं चाहिए होता तो अगर एक कैपिलरी बेड में चार या छः कैपिलरीज या दस या बारह कैपिलरीज एक हिस्से को प्रोवाइड की गई हैं तो उसमें से एक या दो कैपिलरीज में ब्लड फ्लो कर रहा होता है बाकी सब खामोश पड़ी होती हैं अब ये नहीं है कि वही कैपिलरीज में ब्लड हर वक्त फ्लो करेगा बाकी तो फिर जुड़ जाएंगी उनमें तो फिर स्टिनोसिस हो जाएगी लिहाजा उन सबको एक्टिव फॉर्म में रखने के लिए ऑल्टरनेटिंगली द ब्लड फ्लोज इंटरमीडियंटली थ्रू दिस कैपिलरीज टर्निंग ऑफ एवरी फ्यू सेकेंड्स ऑफ और मिनट्स इसकी जरूरत क्या है आप सोच सकते हैं इसकी जरूरत क्या है आपको ये बात पता होनी चाहिए कि अल्लाह मिया ने हमें हर चीज मैक्सिमम कैपेसिटी में प्रोवाइड कर दी है ताकि जब जरूरत पड़े तो हम उस मैक्सिमम कैपेसिटी को अवेल कर सकें लेकिन उसमें से जरूरत के बगैर हम मिनिमम कैपेसिटी को इस्तेमाल कर रहे होते हैं ठीक है जब जरूरत पड़ती है तो हम मैक्सिमम कैपेसिटी तक जा सकते हैं वरना हम एक एवरेज कैपेसिटी में इस्तेमाल कर रहे होते हैं और अगर जरूरत पड़े तो हम उसको कम भी कर सकते हैं जिस वक्त जैसा कि स्लीप में कम जरूरत है जाकर आम एक्टिविटी में कम जरूरत है और एक्सरसाइज में बहुत ज्यादा जरूरत है तो रेंज ऑफ सप्लाई ऑफ ब्लड फ्लो एंड न्यूट्रिशन टू डिफरेंट पार्ट ऑफ द बॉडी कैन बी इंक्रीज कैन बी ए लार्ज वन एंड through this range you can use little one or an average one or large blood flow because of presence of this vasomotion so what is vasomotion vasomotion is intermittent blood flow through capillaries turning off every few seconds or minutes to provide the same tissue bed with average rate of blood flow Average rate of exchange of nutrients and excreta at an average capillary pressure. होता कैसे है होता ऐसे है कि oxygen concentration within the tissues, when the tissues are using oxygen, blood reaches them through one capillary. The met arterioles have got pre-capillary sphincter. These pre-capillary sphincters are having good supply of oxygen when the capillary is open good supply of oxygen in the capillary capillary sphincter so that the capillary capillary sphincter utilizes good oxygen and this causes contraction of that pre capillary sphincter 
when there is more oxygen in a in an area the pre capillary sphincter also gets good oxygen that is smooth muscle fiber also gets good oxygen and then it contracts when it contracts that capillary is closed at the same time some other capillaries are present which were closed previously and the oxygen concentration in them was very little and because of that the pre capillary sphincter of these capillaries opens up so some pre capillary sphincters sphincters that are supplied with good oxygen at one time will close and the other pre capillary sphincters that are supplied with less oxygen at the same time will open up because of relaxation of the smooth muscle fibers because of lack of energy in them and this alternating supply of oxygen in the pre capillary sphincters helps in production of vasomotion the exam question hai aapka functions of the capillaries are transfer of nutrients to the tissues and removal of excreta so you you see that some items are coming out of the capillaries and going into the tissue spaces others are going back to the capillaries from the tissue spaces and then there is no direct exchange between the cell and the capillary the cells give off their secretions or excretions to the tissue space and the tissue space gives off the nutrition and the oxygen to the cells you've seen it is it okay now let's go ahead what is the mode of transfer of substances pichli diagram ko saath rakhe to aap dekhte hain diffusion due to thermal motion of substances dissolved in water across the membrane through pores pichle se pichli diagram mein ye maujood tha diffusion of lipid soluble substances through the cell membrane and filtration depending on the size of the molecule and concentration gradient koi aur cheez hogi कोई और चीज क्या ख्याल है कंसेंट्रेशन ग्रेडियंट एक चीज बन गई साइज ऑफ मॉलिक्यूल दूसरी चीज बन गई लिपिड सोलोबिलिटी तीसरी चीज बन गई काइनेटिक एनर्जी ऑफ सब्सटेंसेस चौथी चीज बन गई थर्मल मोशन दैट इज काइनेटिक एनर्जी ऑफ अ सब्सटेंस सो दैट व्हेन इट कम्स अक्रॉस अ पोर इट वुड पास थ्रू द पोर नंबर टू लिपिड सोलोबिलिटी so that if there is a concentration gradient available substances that are liquid soluble are going across to the two sides of the membrane filtration also depends on the size of the molecule because it is occurring through the pores and the concentration gradient and pressure gradient across the membrane koi aur cheez ho sakti hai socho ha ek cheez aur hoti hai beta that is time available for transfer so if the blood is flowing very fast through a capillary then time available is very little certain substances like oxygen and carbon dioxide do not need much time to transfer across the membrane and they do not take they are not limited but certain other substances that need time to cross the membrane through pores or through filtration are obstructed if the substance is passing very fast through the capillary okay now we see what is the difference in conductivity of different tissues the muscle and brain pore size in the capillaries is very small so that the rate of filtration here is very little in the subcutaneous tissues moderate pore size provides moderate filtration rates and in intestines the filtration rate is more whereas in the liver and kidney there are large pores and they increase the filtration rates if you compare if a substance if a specific surface area of the capillary in glomerulus allows 15000 substances to pass through it per second the same a surface area of the brain capillary allows only three substances to pass per second
जो पिछली वाली डायग्राम थी वो डायग्राम आपकी थी एक और किताब में से और अब आपकी डायग्राम जो आपकी अपनी बुक में से है वो दिखा रही है रिलेटिव परमिबिलिटी ऑफ स्केल्टल मसल कैपिलरी पोर्स टू डिफरेंट साइज मॉलिक्यूल्स और इस वाली जो आपकी जो डायग्राम है या जो आपकी टेबल है इसमें साइज ऑफ द पोर और साइज ऑफ द सब्सटेंस साइज साइज ऑफ द मॉलिक्यूल का आपस में कंपेरिजन है सो इन अ मसल स्केलेटल मसल जिसकी परमिबिलिटी आपके पास टू थी एज कम्पेयर टू द ब्रेन जिसकी थ्री थी इन द सेम सरफेस एरिया पर सेकेंड उसमें वाटर जो है उसकी परमिबिलिटी को वन लगाया जाता है विद मोलिकुलर वेट ऑफ एटीन और एल्ब्यूमन जिसकी मोलिकुलर वेट सिक्सटी नाइन थाउजेंड है वो इसमें से गुजर सकती है स्केल्टल मसल से ओनली जीरो पॉइंट जीरो जीरो वन एज कम्पेयर टू द वाटर वाटर का आपने स्टैंडर्ड ले लिया उसके मुकाबले में एल्ब्यूमन जो है वो लेस थाउजेंड टाइम लेस परमिएबल है हीमोग्लोबिन हंड्रेड टाइम्स लेस का परमिएबल है माओग्लोबिन जो है वो थर्टी थ्री परसेंट लेस परमिएबल है और इंसुलिन जो है वो पॉइंट टू टाइम्स लेस परमिएबल है सो ऑन एंड सो फोर्थ सो डिपेंडिंग अपॉन द मोलिकुलर वेट ऑफ अ सब्सटेंस द परमिएबिलिटी ऑफ वाटर सोलबल सब्सटेंसेज थ्रू द पोर्स इज हेयर इन केस ऑफ स्केलेटल मसल्स so now we are revising the factors that enhance diffusion across the capillaries these are minimized diffusion different distance so if the distance is more diffusion will be difficult but you see that diffusing molecules have to travel a short distance 0.01 cm kitna bana 1 mm from a capillary and that is sufficient enough to give it give it nutrition that is the farther most point ye jo cell hai ye nazdeek hai usse bhi nazdeek capillary walls are very thin so these walls are thin is because of that diffusion distance is less the capillary walls consist of only a single layer of flat endothelial cells flat cells agar high columnar ho to fir bhi distance badhta hai ye flat cells hain so minimal distance is available नो स्मूथ मसल और कनेक्टिव टिश्यू अराउंड द कैपिलरी वॉल और उसकी वजह से जो अगर हिंड्रेंस होती स्मूथ मसल से या कनेक्टिव टिश्यू से तो वो भी अवेलेबल नहीं है इसलिए मिनिमम डिस्टेंस अवेलेबल है कैपिलरी डायमीटर इज नैरो सेवन माइक्रोन मीटर सो वट एवर इज प्रेजेंट इन दिस कैपिलरी दिस इज ऑल ऑफ इट इज अवेलेबल फॉर एक्सचेंज अगर ये बड़ी से ल्यूमन होता तो फिर जो सेंटर वाले जो पार्टिकल्स थे उनमें जो कुछ होता दैट वुड नॉट हैव बीन अवेलेबल लेकिन चूंकि बहुत बारीक डायमीटर है इस वजह से एवरीथिंग इज अवेलेबल फॉर एक्सचेंज बिकॉज ऑफ द स्मॉल डायमीटर प्रीवियस डिटेल्स कंटिन्यूइंग द प्रीवियस विद द प्रीवियस पेज अपार्ट फ्रॉम मिनिमम डिस्टेंस लार्ज सरफेस एरिया इज अवेलेबल एंड दिस प्रोमोट्स द एक्सचेंज सिक्स मीटर स्केयर इज द टोटल सर्फेस एरिया दैट इज अवेलेबल then there is maximum time for exchange as the blood flows slowly in the capillaries anything that is to be exchanged along the concentration gradient is given full time to do so and then of course permeability of the materials matters diffusion along the concentration gradient matters and bulk flow matters bulk flow ka matlab hai whatever water is coming out of the capillary anything that is soluble into that water is dissolved in that water and has a size smaller than that pore is going to come along the water uske baad uska concentration gradient hai ya nahi hai wo matter nahi karta so you see the protein free protein nahi aa sakegi kyunki uske bulk flow mein wo dissolve to ho rahi hai pani mein but its size is larger than the pore so protein free plasma that has filtered out of the capillary now it mixes with the surrounding fluid interstitial fluid and after that as large amount of fluid is present in the tissue space now it is reabsorbed taking away the excreta with it the fluid present in between the cells is called the tissue fluid and is it forms exchanging environment of the cells so nothing is exchanged between the cell and the capillary directly rather the cell is embedded in the tissue fluid and exchanges nutrition and waste products here 
half of the body area is containing this tissue fluid. The space between the cells is called interstitium and tissue gel is the fluid present in this space. It consists of fine proteoglycan. This is fine proteoglycan fibers and 99% of the water is present as gel adsorbed onto these tissue proteoglycans. These are large collagen fibers. These light blue colored fibers are small tissue proteoglycan fibers and 99% of the water is adsorbed on them as tissue gel and only 1% is present as free water in the tissue spaces.